Hello and welcome. We're here at the Reuters India Investment Summit and we have with us today Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, Chairman and Managing Director at Biocon. Welcome Mr. Shaw. I was hoping we could talk about Intupen which you launched last month. How are the sales progressing so far? Are they within your expectations? Well, uh, first and foremost, it's early days yet, but we've had an overwhelming response to our pens, and I think it's uh, absolutely on track, if not slightly ahead of uh, what our forecast was. And I think this is going to really uh, play a very important role in our uh, you know, whole insurgen strategy, because I think uh, what we were missing in our insurgen and uh, Basalog uh, products was the fact that we didn't have a device. And that certainly was uh, uh, giving us a little bit of a you know, handicap in that sense. And I think uh, from that point of view, I think uh, this is going to only uh, enable us uh, to garner greater and greater market share as we go forward. In terms of uh, uh, the, the second half of this year, I think uh, uh, we remain uh, committed to you know, keeping this uh, growth momentum going. Um, sure, there are challenges because, you know, the rupee is just racing away in terms of its uh, uh, dollar parity, uh, which is positive in terms of uh, our export earnings, but certainly uh, cost of goods in terms of material cost is going to increase as well because we are importing a lot of raw materials, so it is going to impact us in that way. And in terms of our uh, Novel programs, uh, we are uh, in, in ongoing discussions to partner some of these very uh, valuable assets. So overall, I think we are pretty excited with what we are seeing and I think we are quite positive on uh, making sure that the next half also delivers well for us. But I really think that, the, uh, you know, we are we're now sort of creating the springboard, but I really think the true traction will happen when we first... Uh, you know, uh, license our assets, the novel assets. When we see the uh, insulins and the biosimilar maps actually accessing uh, global markets in a significant way, and that is really after uh, patent expiration, which uh, is really going to take place effectively post-2015. So at this point of time, I think you're going to see good, uh, steady growth, but uh, the, the real sort of... Uh, high growth is going to take place over the next five years. If you could talk specifically about your oral insulin drug, could you give us some update on the progress Biocon has made in finding any potential partners for this drug? Well, you know, as you know, the only, uh, you know, endpoint that we really missed was the HbA1c endpoint because all other endpoints, secondary endpoints were met. And obviously when a primary endpoint is not met, um, there will be a greater due diligence as to why this was not done. Having said that, I think we do have a few uh, very, very interested uh, potential partners. We are engaging in, in discussions with them. You know, all going well, we should be able to engage one of them as, as a partner. Uh, and we are, uh, you know, obviously there will be some uh, development work that will need to be done um, before we really get the big bucks. You know, I'm hoping that we will be able to strike something this fiscal. There's also been talk about a uh, possible IPO for your Syngene unit uh, with global markets in such turmoil. Could we perhaps see something in the near term or medium term or do you think that this might be pushed forward? I don't think we have any plans to push it forward. I think we've talked about the next 12 to 18 months. So we're hoping that by next fiscal, the end of next fiscal, that would be the sort of timing for us to go to the market. I believe that uh, the, the recent trends we are seeing in externalization of R&D only adds to this, uh, uh, you know, this particular sector. And we believe that uh, companies like Syngene and Clinigene are beneficiaries of this trend. Uh, having said that, uh, you know, we will certainly start preparing for uh, an IPO uh, in the stated time that I just mentioned. And we remain committed to that. Optima recently raised its projections, sales projections for uh, phytomoxicin. Um, what kind of boost does Biocon expect from this? Well, you know, um, being the sole suppliers of the API, obviously any forecast that they enhance will obviously benefit us. Um, I would, you know, really say that uh, phidoxamycin is a good product. We need to see how it pans out in global markets. 
I think they've had a very successful launch in the U.S. I know that Estellas, who is their, uh, you know, marketing partner in Europe and other parts of the developed world, is also getting ready to launch it. And that only means that it will be an added uh, opportunity for us. All right, that's about all the questions I have. Thank you very much, Mr. Shaw. Thank you.